Hey guys, it's Chris and I'm back with another video. Yes, and I want to ask one simple question. What the hell happened to House of the Dragon? First off, this video is brought to you by my patrons on Patreon. I really appreciate the support you guys. I would like to thank my newest Patreons. Thank you to Alyssa Banks. Thank you to Amanda Duncan. And thank you to Thavius. I really appreciate the support you guys. You guys keep the channel going through this long, long night. And speaking of long night, we do have another long night ahead of us. House of the Dragon, we hadn't heard anything about it. They announced it right after the other Game of Thrones prequel had been canceled that we refer to as the long night and immediately announced House of the Dragon. So all we really know so far as far as the production team, because there has been no news on casting or any of that stuff, is that George R. R. Martin, of course, is, is co-writing himself along with Ryan Condal. Uh, Miguel Sapochnik will be the showrunner, essentially. And if you remember Miguel Sapochnik, he did the Game of Thrones episodes such as Hard Home and the Battle of Winterfell, the Battle of the Bastards, all that good stuff as well. So one of the best directors in the Game of Thrones series, one of the best directors I've ever seen personally. So we, we know we got the real deal behind the show and HBO did order a full season. So it is going to happen, but apparently it's just been on hold. There's been no casting news and it was still in the writing phase. But apparently from the latest I've seen on anything is that the other things in production, such as casting and all the other stuff where they get everything set up and prepare to film a show like this, was just put on hold due to COVID and there's really no further details about it. So all we really know as far as the production itself is that it was in the early production stages of scripting and all that good stuff and it got put on hold as far as any kind of, I guess, social gathering stuff to do something in some location wherever they're going to base this out of because of COVID-19 and the whole pandemic around the world. But I guess George R. R. Martin and Ryan Connell can still write somewhere from their houses. Now, the other thing we do know is that in an interview with Casey Bloys, the director of programming at HBO, he did say that the show will appear sometime in 2022. So that's all we really know. He didn't go into any further detail. He gave us no really, you know, hints about where they are in production and writing. Do they have the scripts done? Any of that other stuff, he said, but there will be other Game of Thrones prequels in the works, but they're going to really focus on House of the Dragon. And of course, uh, just in case you don't know, uh, I'm sure you do if you watch this channel and others like it, of course, House of the Dragon is going to follow House Targaryen from the days of Aegon the Conqueror when he first came to Westeros and unified it under one rule, as opposed to the old way and having seven individual kingdoms. So... This is based off the books, of course, Fire and Blood, Volume 1, and then Volume 2, which is coming in probably a couple years or so, whatever it may be, because we still haven't got Winds of Winter. But anyway, this is going to follow House Targaryen. And my question for you guys in the comments is, since we know how it ends with the whole debacle of Game of Thrones Season 8, are you interested in watching House of the Dragon? Because in my opinion, I think it really will be a great show. I mean, you're going to have, you know the stories of all these past Targaryen kings and queens, the dance of the dragons. You're going to see Aegon conquer the seven kingdoms with his sister wives, Visenya and Rhaenys and all that good stuff. So it's going to be a really well-produced show, obviously, and it's going to look visually stunning, I'm sure, as Miguel Schnapostik and HBO have shown in Game of Thrones itself, regardless of what you think of the story. But the question for you guys is, since we know how this all ends and how House Targaryen ends and where they end up with the last Targaryen going beyond the wall, being Jon Snow, of course, and Danny dying, of course, in the main series, are you really interested to watch it because you know how it ends? You know where this is going, even though I think it would be really good stories of how they got there in the first place. I can still understand people going, yeah, not really, not really interested. Or better yet, do you think right now, yeah, I'm not really interested because I know how it ends and I didn't like the ending, or I did like the ending, whatever, and then when it comes around, you may say, eh, let me check this out because this looks pretty damn good and I'm hearing a lot of good things about it, depending, of course, on how it's received. Anyway, guys, you can click right over here to check out my latest video introducing my new book series to the world, so please check that out and let me know what you think. And there is an Indiegogo campaign that I will be starting, but for now, it's just a mailing list. Feel free to click that link in the description below and sign up for that as well. And you can click right over here for the Smokescreen podcast playlist where James and I talk about various things and we cover anything and everything in pop culture from true crime documentaries to uh, Is Bigfoot and Aliens Reels. So anyway, guys, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you hadn't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.